What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So I just recently talked about the fact that I was making some purchases, that I was going to be buying um, cryptocurrency and finding the best opportunities to buy cryptocurrency. Um, I've been over this last year or two, I've been looking at cryptocurrency and buying a lot of the, um, you know, lower end coins, things that are in the like 1000 ranking by market cap, 2000 ranking by market cap, um, things that are in the millions of dollars uh, by market cap rather than billions of dollars by market cap. I do have a lot that's in the billions when it comes to Shiba Inu, it comes to Terra Luna Classic, it comes to Ethereum, um, Dogecoin, all of these that are in like the top 10 that actually provide a ton of value. I do have those. But I have not made a heavy investment on a lot of these plays that are in the top 10 right? People have like their plays that they make and, you know, less risky ones, more risky ones. And a lot of the less risky ones are putting more money into sort of like an index fund where you're putting so much money into an index fund to be able to gather that 10% return, knowing that it is on average, a consistent 10% return. So where can you find that in the crypto market? Well, you can't really find a no matter what, 10% return, but you can find consistency. I would say Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, you know, some of the top five cryptocurrencies, not stable coins, uh, provide a lot of consistency that you want. Um, not in the market that we're seeing today, but definitely in the market in general, if you're looking for things that are moving and are going to be here no matter what and will not collapse, um, I'm not saying physically cannot collapse, but won't collapse and will be here no matter what happens to the crypto market. Uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB would probably be the ones that will be here no matter what happens. <coughs> so what I wanted to do in this video is talk to you guys about Ethereum and how I'm choosing to go all in on Ethereum, which is kind of about time. I've went all in on things like Dogecoin, on Shiba Inu, on AMC. Um, I've went all in on uh, Terra Luna Classic, on a lot of different plays that are not necessarily like lower end and the, the worst things to buy, but definitely not the most consistent things that you could find in the market. So in this video, we're going to be talking about going all in on Ethereum and what my plan is for going all in on Ethereum. Um, so hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you guys check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you guys wanna follow me on Twitter, at Perry8K, you can follow me over there. Don't forget to check out my Patreon. That link is in the description. Um, it does help out the channel. And it helps out, you know, me and uh, my family as well because Patreon, you know, helps me feed my family. Um, and so does YouTube. So thank you for supporting everywhere that you support. I appreciate it. Um, but anyways, let's talk about uh, Ethereum, right? If we look at the crypto market, the crypto market is down. It's down 12.42%, uh, down to a $834 billion market cap. Uh, Bitcoin is down to less than a $17,000 price point. Um, Ethereum is down to uh, $1,195.83. This is not the lowest that it's been. Uh, Bitcoin is at sort of at the lowest that it's been, right? You're seeing this at 16571 of a low, which just happened recently. And you're seeing this at $16,916.41, which has surpassed the previous low um, of $17,700. Um, and this is all coming off of, the, off of the heels of this FTX situation, this FTX Binance situation that's going on. <clears throat> so if we look at that and we look at Ethereum, we're going to see that Ethereum still has a ton of space, a ton of room um, from where it was at its um, all time low here of uh, 800, not all time low, but last year low of $896.11. Now, this just happened in the last crash that we saw, and it got to while Bitcoin got to 17.7. Ethereum went down to $896. Now, Bitcoin is down below that 17.7. So why are we not seeing Ethereum below that point? Well, it's because we have more strength within Ethereum, believe it or not. 
there's more people that are now like, hey, you know what? I'm gonna hold this position, stake this position, gain an APY, sit on what I have and invest more into the position because people believe in what Ethereum can be, what Ethereum will be, um, and all of the things that it has connections to, whether it's NFTs, you know, metaverses, um, you know, just payment structures, whatever it is, you're seeing uh, Ethereum kind of right there, ready to go. So um, seeing all of this and seeing how it has, you know, kind of held up, even though it has dropped below 1,200, um, it has kind of held up at that point. It gives me an opportunity to continue to buy. Recently, um, before this overall push that we saw and then this decrease, the price was at 1,275, which I ended up buying and I have three Ethereum right now. I do plan on buying another Ethereum um, probably today or tomorrow. Um, most likely I'm going to buy one today and maybe even one tomorrow. But every time I run into money, I think I'm done buying other positions because I have a lot of other things, whether it's ADA or it's uh, KRL or it's Cosmos or uh, Kronos Coin or Terra Luna Classic or whatever position. I have enough of those. So I should be making a move in things that are a little bit more consistent, things that run and control the market. And Ethereum is one of those. So that's the reason why I'm going to end up going all in on Ethereum, making a purchase either today or tomorrow, um, making another purchase um, definitely tomorrow. So if it's tomorrow, I might buy two Ethereum at that point. Um, but either way, I'm going all in on Ethereum and buying as much Ethereum as I possibly can and holding on to that Ethereum, staking that Ethereum, gaining the APY that I can gain over in Coinbase and doing what a lot of other people are doing with Ethereum, which is hold it because it's going to be a lot more valuable than people think. So uh, you let me know what you think about Ethereum. Do you think that uh, Ethereum is going to stay to where it's, you know, kind of seeing this support level? Or do you think if Bitcoin continues to crash, Ethereum will continue to crash as well? Um, I think that may be the case that it will continue to, to fall, but I don't think it will continue to crash. That's where the difference comes in. Ethereum may drop in price, but it's not crashing down to $800 and $700. It's falling down to $1,200 from $1,600. You know, uh, uh, Bitcoin's going from $20,000 down to $16,000 or less than 17,000, high 16s. So we know that uh, Bitcoin is struggling. We know that other things are struggling, but Ethereum seems to be holding up pretty strong. So that's why I'm deciding to go all in on Ethereum. So let me know what you think. Make sure you guys hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more of these videos. Also, make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel quite a bit. And if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, at Perry 8K, you can follow me over there. Don't forget about my Patreon link, which is in the description. But uh, I'm going to get out of here, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.